Still in the August sunshine, Josh. How, how do we assess the start of the season for Bristol City? Um, I think the result um, on Tuesday night was massive for us. It makes the start a little bit better. We didn't get the results that we wanted in the first few games, but I think you know this when we got on Tuesday night, I think we'll keep us on. Were there nerves in the early stages at Queen's Park Rangers, and did you notice the confidence grow as the goals started to go in? Yeah, I think QPR started quite well. We didn't start as, you know, as good as we wanted to, but you know we got the goal at the right time. You know with the uh, the runs from Matty Taylor and Andy Byman were, were making our game. You know it was uh, important that we we fed him, and, and we did that. And you know the goals. Our goal came at the right time, it gives a lot of confidence. How did you assess your own performance on Tuesday? You, you had an assist for um, Andreas' second goal, the third goal of the night. Yeah, um, I thought my performance was, was different to normally what I'm, what I'm used to or the way that we normally play. Um, we battled very well, I thought I battled quite well. But yeah, it, was a, it was a tough game, we know what they were going to do and how we can um, you know, affect them. And I thought that we did that. Yeah, you, you can be a tough, combative um, character, can't you, on the pitch? And was that, were those qualities needed on Tuesday? I think so, yeah. I think the way that they were playing, they were quite direct and, you know, trying to put it in behind. And that means when our centre-backs head the ball to get on the seconds or, or when their centre-backs head it, get on the seconds and, you know, and scrap for the seconds. And I thought I did that quite well with me and Marlon and the How big a challenge is Swansea, uh, former Premier League side, on Saturday? No, it's massive. They've uh, had an unbeaten start to the season. You know, they're putting some, some good performances, you know, and again, uh, they finally played Leeds on, on Tuesday night. Um, but, you know, we'll go into the game full of confidence on the win. I think it was massively important that we that we got that win, clean sheet as well, uh, with three goals, you know, so it'll be, a, it'll be a tough game, but yeah, we'll go in there full of confidence. Still early days, but important that Tuesday wasn't a one-off, but you can build on that and get two wins, three wins in a row. Yeah, I think that's what we're, we're going to aim for, is to go on a little run. It's never easy, um, as we've shown over, over the last couple of years. It's never easy to to maintain a, a run, um, but you know that's what we'll hope to go this weekend and put on a good performance and hopefully get the three points. And are you looking forward to getting your teeth into the season? A lot of plaudits for the way you played last year, but um, hopefully there's even more to come from you in a Bristol City shirt. Yeah, I think I think there is. Um, you know, we're uh, playing in central midfield, which is my main position. Um, I feel like I can, uh, you know, show myself a little bit more than than maybe on right midfield. But uh, no, I'm really looking forward to, to the season. You know, we've got a great squad, we've re recruited very well, um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, sometimes I have to double check, you're still only 22, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still only 22. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a youngster or are you a bit more senior than that now? Um, I don't feel like I'm a youngster anymore. Um, I think I've played quite a few games and got a bit of experience in some, some big games, so I've, you know, I've classed myself as a sort of an experienced youngster, maybe. Um,